when we do our investigation, when we do our walkthroughs, we also take pictures and do pretty much the things that we do during an investigation. For example, I have my recorder on during the walkthrough because it saves me from taking notes. And then I just listen to it and, and I can, you know, I know what uh, Lynn was telling us about and all the stories about the house she was telling us. Well, uh, even on my recording, and a few of the voices you're going to hear on the evidence tape came from that walkthrough. So it's almost as if, even while we were talking, someone else unseen was here following the conversation and making comments. And they were all good comments as well. As I say, we were here on September 3rd. Then we made arrangements for our investigation, which was September 13th. Our team came in. We, uh, we divide up into groups, and each of us thoroughly investigated every room, every room, every space in the house. And our tape is going to show you the photographic evidence first that we got. The first disc and the second disc will be the voice evidence that we captured. Now this was an interesting uh, shot. This is up in the, I don't know what you call it, I call it the renovation room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Melissa's room. Now, if you look, if you can, can you make this out? I don't know if... Looks if like it, she has like a hood over her head. Yes. Maybe. Can you see that? A hood over her head? Can you see the shape here? Yes. Now, several pictures were taken from this angle. We couldn't duplicate. And in addition, we did, uh, we examined other pictures that other investigators had taken and looked at that window. And we, we had, there was no smearing dust or window imperfections that matched this, which looks like some kind of a shape. Yeah. Okay, during the evening of September 13, 2011, Hawnings Research strategically located a digital sound recorder and or a sound recording camera in each room of the mansion. The EVPs you will hear represent a small sampling of the authentic recorded sounds from inside the Larimer Mansion that evening. Okay, hold your hats on. Of course, we were all wearing yeah, tennis shoes. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching us right now? Are you watching us right now? That's very clear. It's not often you get hit on by a 200 year old. Are you watching us right now? <laughs> Now these two last EVPs are really remarkable. They independently record the same name. The two recordings were captured in vastly separate areas of Larimer Mansion, each by a different investigator at two different times of the night. What's the name of the uh, lady that looks out the window? What's the name of the uh, lady that looks out the window? What's the name of the uh, lady that looks out the window? Now, listen to this. 
So we know there's a Maggie. Oh, well, I know there's a Margaret Ann Lear that died in the house. Oh. When we were uh, uh, getting ready to wrap it up for the evening, um, we had two members that were still investigating, so I went to go find them. And uh, I went into a couple rooms, and I went up to this room, and when I walked into the room, I had the just an overwhelming sensation that somebody was just sitting there watching me. So I pulled out the camera, and I just started snapping pictures all over the place. I took about 10 pictures. The very last picture I took before coming down the steps was this one. And uh, it, it, it looks like a little girl, kind of like with her knees up, in a, like you said, in a Victorian dress. I think you can actually see it better when you're further away because it's going to zoom out now. I think you can actually see it better. No, I was always told out. there was a five-year-old child that died in the house. And that I always assumed it was a boy. Though. So, well, see, this it, is, there's going to be some things come up that might change your mind. The face her arms around her knees. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Oh, definitely. What room is that? That was up yeah. in the attic. This has me puzzled. I have no idea what this is. This is up in the room that is being renovated. Uh, the lights were out. There was no light coming through the door. I took a picture. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. So that is uh, just one of those unidentified things. Now this is an interesting picture. I believe this is in your bathroom. It says, note, the only picture that has an ectoplasmic type mist covering its surface is that one. And a light reflection has been ruled out because a light reflection would show off of other things as well. So whoever that picture is. That's my grandma. Well, why, why would she have that be there? I have no idea. 